bring them up. So, you know, kind of like you talk about the Amazon drop shipping. Um, I feel like more people are definitely either getting into that space or, you know, looking to get into that space. You know, that, that's why I feel your service is so helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I know personally, maybe about a year or two years ago, I looked into the Amazon thing. And I agree, um, without a coach or a mentor or someone who knows what they're doing, not only can you waste a lot of time, but I'm sure you can waste some money too, right? Right, right. Right. Well, here's the thing, you know, people feel that they can do stuff on their own um, simply because, you know, this is how we were taught. Right. We wasn't taught to go seek an expert. We wasn't taught to go seek guidance. So if you don't know how to do that, then you won't do it. Right. Until people meet me and they're like, oh, Tanisha, if you're doing it, then, you know, what? I'm going to just pay you so you can show me how to do it because I don't have time to waste. I don't have, you know, another 20 years to waste. And I always tell people, if you're over 55, you really don't have no time to play any game with nothing. Your time is short. Your time is very short because a lot of people, they wait until 55 to wake up. And when I say wake up, this is when they realize that they did nothing their whole life, but work a job, work for somebody else, and they never created anything for themselves. Ever, right? So people, literally, the, the suicide rate right now for baby boomers are on the high rise because they're realizing I did nothing, I created nothing, and I don't have no money, and I don't have no money for retirement. Yeah. Yep, and it's like, oh, my God. Um, so I guess when you work with people, like what, what does that process look like? And, you know, from the very beginning, are, can you tell the people who you feel are more likely to make it compared to those who are not? And, and you know, I just say because, you know, I think um, for a lot of people, being an entrepreneur looks like a glamorous, you know, making money from your cell phone looks easy. So, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people who want to do it because they don't understand the hard work. Mm -hmm. um, how do you kind of weed out those people who um, are talented, driven, committed, compared to those who just want to, you know, the glam, glitz, quick money? Well, my market is women, right? So my market is women ages 20 to 55, right? So when I do ads and I do videos and things of that nature, it's geared towards them. Now, what I do is I program, well, reprogram my people, my followers, right? So it's not a cult or anything, but I reprogram my people. So I let my people know that if you do not have any intention on investing in yourself, you cannot work with me any way, shape, or form. Right. So someone may come to me saying, well, you know, can I get in your class, you know, for free? And then I have a free webinar that they can watch. And then my free webinar breaks down how Amazon is taking over the world and how they can get themselves positioned to be a part of what I'm doing. So most of my following know that they got to invest in themselves if they decide to work with me. Now, of course, there's a handful of people that's like, oh, no, I don't want to pay this. I don't want to pay that. But then a month later, two months later, three months later, they come back. Like, Tanisha, you know what? You're right. I can't do this on my own. I don't watch all the YouTube videos. None of them are making sense to me. Can you show me? Can you guide me? Right. So it's really not, you know, who, who you know, who am I looking to work with or who, who am I, I'm, I'm not looking to work with? It's. I'm programming because once people start following me, they start following me on Instagram, they start following me on YouTube, they start following me on, on my list, they start following me on Facebook, so they feel like they can't get away from me. And this is what marketing is. You're giving a message, right, to people where they feel like, you know what, this lady knows what she's talking about, this lady is the person who I need to go to every single time I need inspiration or I need question answered or whatever, now, once people start following me, I tell them, do their research, right? Watch more of my videos. Watch other people, you know, that I've helped. Go talk to, you know, other people that I help. Because at this point in my career, I'm not into convincing anybody they need to change their life, right? If you're not convinced every time you look at your bank account <laughs> that you need to change your life, then I sure can't convince you, you know, to want to change your life. So I'm willing to work with people who are willing to work. 
And that's really, you know, what it boils down to. Now, of course, everything, you know, that we do, you know, is work, is strategic. And, you know, I break all of this down in my course on what you need to do step by step. Most people follow it. Others don't. Right. So I can't control, you know, what the other people don't. Because remember, there's only one percent of people who are really, really, really hungry to be successful. Everybody else just follows the masses. Right. So that's how, it, you know, that's how it really works. Uh, you know, when I deal with, you know, people in e-commerce, but like I said, I deal with a lot of women and it's not just teaching women how to create an income from their cell phone. I also help women with life stuff. A lot of women come to me broken. They come confused. They come from domestic violence. They came from three and four divorces. They got eight and nine kids. They got five and six baby four. It's a lot. Right. So I don't just teach people how to make money. I teach people literally how to change their mind to change their life so that they can teach their children oh, something. Like new. Right. Almost seems like life skills. I mean, pretty much all around. So. Right. And, and, you know, I guess that probably, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but probably some of your social worker background gives you some of the skills to, you right. know, um, provide resources for a lot of different situations that right. they may be in or you know, right. trying to get out of as well. Right, right. So, so, so the reason I became a social worker is because I love helping people. The problem with social work, right. it wasn't enough money. So I hated helping people. It was like, I don't want to do this. Right, right. <laughs> so it didn't make sense to me. Right, right. So, I mean, we all have a desire to help people in some type of way or, you know, some type of capacity, but the money has to be there. Right. The money has to be the Bible, you know, talks about money and riches, abundance and prosperity. Right. So we have to tap into that. A lot of people, you know, they believe in God so much. They don't even believe in themselves. Right. And God can't help you if you don't believe in yourself, because you got to take the first step for God to help you, you know, to move forward in your life. That's why so many Christians are destitute. That's why so many Christians are in turmoil. That's why so many Christians are broke because they just believe a hundred percent in God and they don't believe in themselves at all. Yep, definitely understood. Right. Now, I, I guess it's part of your, um, your daily activity. So like, how, how do you schedule your day? You know, I, I know um, they say most successful people have routines that they follow on a daily basis. What, what are some of your daily routines well, I wake up, I meditate for about, let's say about a half an hour. Um, I get my thoughts together, think about what I got to do, think about the things that, you know, I need to do to to move myself forward and just the daily things I need to do. Then I wake up, I take my children to school, I'll cook breakfast for them. And then I head to the gym and basically throughout the day, all I do is talk to people. I'm either creating content right? For my business or my brand. I'm connecting with my team about my business and my brand. I'm connecting with clients on what they need further, how I can help them, uh, you know, further than about maybe three or four o'clock I'm cooking dinner, you know, for, you know, my family. So my main thing is literally talking to a lot of people every day, whether it's through text, whether it's on the phone, whether it's through a Facebook message, uh, uh, an Instagram, uh, you know, inbox, through an email. I'm literally talking to people every single day. And my whole goal is to help. My goal every day is to help 10 women start them a business working from home so they can learn how to make money from their cell phone. Gotcha. Okay. Right. And um, just for anyone tuning in, we are talking to Tanisha Marie, founder of Success Level Ventures. We are going to just take a very quick break and then we'll be right back. Okay. I, I, I put it on pause. I'm just going to take a quick break. Okay. And then um, just ask you a few questions coming back. And then I'll just ask if you have any upcoming events, any programs. Um, then after that, kind of how people can kind of get in touch with you. Okay. Okay. That'd okay. be cool. I, 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 I'm, I'm definitely glad to stay connected. That let me turn down on my side. Um, I'm definitely glad to stay connected. Like the e-commerce, like I looked at that and I, I agree. Like I think for people to do some of that stuff on their own, it, it's just like you need a coach. Right. You need an expert on that. Right. 
Right, you do. Right, because that's what I had to do. I had my coach. She showed me what to do. She showed me how to get it done, and that was two years ago. But I also did Shopify, which is another e-commerce platform, which I started about four years ago. And I had to get a coach to show me how to do that, too. So, but the biggest thing, you know, with especially black people, right, we right. don't understand the power of investing in ourselves. Uh, I agree. Right. We don't understand that. We'd rather go to the Gucci store, though, and the Louis store and, and buy and help them all day long. But we won't help ourselves yeah, ever. Yeah. It's crazy. And I, I feel like it's all, um, it, you know, I think it all goes to choices. Like, right. You have to choose what you want to grow. If you invest yourself, you're going to grow. Right. If you don't put money towards yourself, you know, the, the, the chances are a lot less likely. Right, right. Okay, so I'm about to come back 